Hello, thank you so much for watching this video. I am ready to dance, and by dance, I mean paint with my heart, which feels like dancing. I'm so glad that you could be here too. I, um, we've had kind of a fun week. It's been exciting. We are adding on to our house. Oh, I just realized I don't have a towel on my lap. We are adding on to our house and um, it's gonna be really cool. We're backing, um, we're putting a family room and an office and a guest room and stuff just off the back of our kitchen. And so our kitchen's actually gonna open up to the new, to the new addition, which is really fun and exciting. Um, and they told us, they're like, okay, well, the, they've been building the outside since November. And they told us, they're like, okay, well, when the drywall people come, and drop off the drywall, you've got about a week or two to clear out the cabinets and stuff. And then we're gonna knock down the wall and get into your kitchen and start building in your kitchen. And so we were like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so exciting. And um, the drywall people came and they knocked down, or they, the drywall people came and they dropped off the stuff like on Friday. And then on Monday morning, 7 a.m., here come, here come the other workers to like knock down the knock down the kitchen wall. We were not ready. We were like going nuts trying to unload all the kitchen cabinetry, get out of there. So it's it's a good fun problem to have, um, and it's been very very exciting. But it's reminded me of a kind of a really cool experience that my dad had. Uh, my dad grew up Catholic. His his ancestry, like he had lots of nuns in his, in his ancestry, obviously not his mom, but you know, his aunts were nuns and stuff, you know, and so he believed in prayer and he believed in God and all of that. And he joined, well, he was actually a big baseball player. So my dad got an invitation to join the Minnesota Athletics a um, long time ago. And he signed a contract, but then he got in a car accident and he broke his leg. And so he, it was actually a really bad break. He, he had the scars of that break for years until the day he died, which was a couple of years ago. And he couldn't play baseball. He couldn't play baseball anymore. He was very good. He played shortstop and second base and he just couldn't play baseball anymore. And so he ended up joining the military and he rose in the ranks in the military and became a major and was over, you know, a lot of people, a lot of different times. He, he was the intelligence analyst scoping out North Korea, scoping out China. And so anyway, he just was doing just some things like that. And, um, this is way back. This is way back in the day. And he went over to Germany and while he was in Germany, um, he was in charge of this group of guys, and I, you know, I'm not gonna, I don't have the language, but it doesn't matter because I can still tell the story without all the language of, you know, the military, but he was over all of these, all of these guys. And they had like a big bunk area that they were in, and not just like a big bunk area, but they were, it was, the downstairs was like a recreation area. There was two rooms, and he made sure it was always just like stacked with coffee and snacks and, muffins and you know bagels and whatever whatever i'm sure it was a lot of german pastries over there too but my dad made sure that it was like stacked totally all the time and he had pool tables down there and ping pong tables and and all of this stuff and couches and chairs and stuff so the guys could sit and smoke cigarettes and you know drink coffee and, and just have a really good time um in this recreational area but it was a bummer because the area was built uh, in two. There was a wall dividing the two uh, rooms. And my dad asked permission to knock down, to knock down this wall between the two rooms and he got denied. He got denied this, you know, it was just like a bummer to him because he wanted to knock down and make one really big room. And he actually had a really, a lot of popularity. A lot of the guys from the other areas on, on base there in Germany, came to this one recreational room and that wasn't allowed it wasn't like something that was smiled upon you could say like in in that area in the military but my dad didn't mind and as long as nobody was fighting as long as nobody was causing trouble with each other 
um, then he he allowed it and he was fine with all of that. And he wanted that to happen too because these were guys who were giving away their time and they're away from their families and he wanted them to have this area that they could be in together. Anyway, so he got denied the ability to break down this wall and he was really bummed about it and he prayed to the God that he believed in and you know, and he's like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And then all of a sudden, there was an earthquake in Germany and the earthquake did absolutely zero damage to any structure, anything on base, um, except this one building that my dad was over. And not just the building, it was only in this one basement on this one wall. And the whole earthquake, all it did is knock out a big, like a huge hole in the wall so that he had to call contractors in to come and like break out the rest of the wall. So super cool, super cool. My dad is like, so cool, he's got this cool story of breaking down this wall. You know, it's funny the kinds of walls that we have, you know, in life, not just not just in military bases that divide us, you know, like that, but but in life and the walls that we build for ourselves. And sometimes, you know, we really struggle with building these walls and you know, we build them for good reasons. We're like, we're just gonna keep ourselves safe. We're just gonna keep the good parts of ourselves safe on the inside. But if you ever want to grow, like physically as we're adding onto our house, we have to break down that wall to grow. But also emotionally, if you ever want to grow, you have to be willing to break down those walls. And it's not just about letting other people in, but it's about letting us out. You know, I was looking up some quotes about what was I going to share about, you know, breaking down the walls and stuff. And one quote that I came across that, you know, like it was something really dramatic and really sweet and it was written very poetically and it said, sometimes the walls that we build around our hearts are not to keep people out, but they're to keep us held together. And yeah, that's not untrue. You know, that's not untrue. We, we do want to keep ourselves safe. And I'm not saying that anybody shouldn't be, you know, safe. Like everyone needs to be safe and do safe things. However, we need to be careful that we're not using those walls to our own detriment. Like we can let other people in and we can be brave. And yeah, if you break down the wall between the two, between the two rooms, you're going to have everyone in the same room as you, which means that maybe you were kind of avoiding this one guy in the other room. You know, you didn't like the smell of his cigarettes or you didn't like how he drank his coffee or you didn't like how he played pool or maybe, he, you know, doesn't matter. Now he's in the same room as you, but now you can grow a little bit more and let him into your life. I'm not saying that everybody has to be in our life. I'm not saying that. We need to have boundaries and we need to be careful, but we can still, we can still choose maybe to let down some walls in our own life um, and grow like I'm growing with my kitchen into this new area and like my dad is able to grow in Germany. My kids, my dad had chickens his whole life and my kids called my dad Grandpa Chicken. And so in his honor, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to paint this chicken. I'm going to dance with my dad today. A little father-daughter dance as I paint a little chicken and think of him. dad. It was pretty fun. Um, hopefully you're not tuning in for like a painting tutorial. This is just me. <laughs> this is just me painting because I can't dance and it is 
very relaxing and very fun and I'm enjoying it very much with you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'm going to name this painting Jim. Jim the chicken. Chicken Jim. <laughs> so that was my dad's name. So Jim the chicken. Thanks for the dance. Super fun. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.